then and it would be easier if we had somebody that that was determined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But corruption mm-hmm. is institutionalized in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. It has taken it's like there are so many layers and layers. Think of corruption as the biggest onion that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and corruption, the root is inside inside. You have to peel, as you are peeling, you are crying, and as you are peeling, you are crying. And all the masses, which unfortunately, whether or not, like even now that you know, most complain about being broke and stuff like that, we're still part of the top 10% of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. So you are still upper class, congratulations, I guess. I don't know, depends how you want to look at it. But 90% of us are unemployed and illiterate. They are the people that you can get 500 naira to buy their boots. Yeah. Of course. Some some widows, they don't even know who they are voting for. They line all of them up. And when they get to the thing, they now tell them this is the one that you will pick for like bags of rice, guys. Your freedom for a bag of rice. And it, it goes in everywhere. Like even like in dating and relationships, yeah. there's so much corruption. You know that you're trying to <laughs> not you're trying to manipulate somebody to drink what, what you want. want. Is that not corruption in itself? Jeez, is that not? Jeez! Where's it going? Let me see. There are a lot of things that I don't talk about on social media because I just feel like a lot of people don't deserve your opinion. Mm. So, like, when I see people fighting on Twitter and stuff, I'm just like, and why? Like, I don't have cute, time! It's cute and everything, but I'm like, too lazy I don't get paid. I ain't getting paid. Like, it's going, like, going on, like, when someone does something and you're like, <laughs> Carrying it on your head, you see his head before you. Like, why? Why? Do you find other things to do? Like, like, if you have not gotten to the point in your life where you can see something happening and you can scroll up and just keep it moving, better go and pray. Yeah. I don't know which church goes to do that means. Have your fire. Go yeah. and so that your enemies will start eating grass because obviously you are the one that's eating grass right <laughs> now. In this our world, I need some climate. They have to talk like Chanel's news. Is this <laughs> correct climate? <laughs> I think Nigeria doesn't have just wet and dry grass. Oh my god. Whatever. Why are people trying to add fall in autumn to it? Like, why? It's it's you're, 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 you're going wet past. And that's not what you're going to do. You've deleted. You were going like this. You're just wet like this. I have spring. It's just wet and dry. Yes. Oh my god. Don't get confused. Oh my god. Don't get too confused. You're about to do you remember the question now? Oh yeah, okay, I remember. So in this, in this time where everybody has an opinion, yeah. as an influencer, as a content creator, do you think that your support influencers have the right to know certain things about you? Do. Before, if you had asked me this question like maybe a year ago as mm-hmm. well, I might have been like, oh, you know, it's okay to live an open life, daddy, daddy, da, blah, 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 blah. As I am at the age as I'm at right now, mm-hmm. honestly, and the way that social media is going, yeah, I I have no issue keeping things from people. I have no issue keeping my opinion. Sometimes mm-hmm. I know that there are certain people that have complained to me privately because they see that like now I become a little more shut out. Mm-hmm. I'm not as open as I used to be, but like life is hard, okay. Yeah. And like people that have that i feel like you have to get to a certain level emotionally mentally and maybe financially to just be that person that puts yeah, it all out, out there. there even the kardashians don't put everything out all out there, there. Yeah. and i feel like it's so important to figure out when you're oversharing and it's so relative for somebody like me um after this relationship i was kind of like gee uh, ain't nobody because the way people were so I- involved up to yeah. the point that like are you now, was it now a situation where you thought that at some point I'll be like, oh my god, there's so many people really like, so let me just stay. Stay, yeah. And, and whether or not, as strong as you are a person, the, those type of things will still cross your mind. Like, let's yeah. just try it. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you know that you are not supposed to be trying. So yeah. you're like, oh my god, you guys were, and so what? And so, yeah. so after that, I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm getting married. That's the day. Yeah, a lot of us started out our social media to be personal. Yeah. 
and then all of a sudden, okay, we found out that okay, we can do more mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. But then I never want to feel like, oh, I can't post this because like everybody's going to start asking me questions, or oh, I have to post this because like this is happening. I think I when you got, get to a point out. where you have to think about it, mm-hmm. just don't there's do it. A pro- yeah. There's a problem. Just stop. Just so there's like a little bit of there's not pressure to it. And you don't need other people around you to be adding to that pressure, especially without them even knowing that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you see that fish pool? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I actually, I actually never eat like meat or things I have to buy in public. Ah, uh, like, you better have principle. It's a mock You have to know. No, no, no yeah. but I'm just saying, like on a normal day, I'm just like, bruh, I can't do this shit. I don't want my enemies. My enemies to see me. And as I say, I can't get it. <laughs> All your makeup and everything, like chicken. I never eat chicken outside no, of my no, house. No. I just can't. Unless it's like a restaurant where there's like, and then like yeah. <laughs> all these parties. I'm not looking at me. It's paying me. It's paying me, but it's actually fine. Why don't you get the picture? Because it's not scary. Then the statue or something. Just, oh my god, <laughs> this is thing you do about social media and how do you enjoy the life. Because obviously, now you're a mom, yeah. now you're a wife. How do you like decide? I is think, it still pretty? Like, is it still more personal for you than professional? Or for for me, I think it's still uh, my YouTube and this like let's say Instagram, social media. It's still very personal. Mm-hmm. Um, fair enough. I have like my support. Yeah. But I feel like my community is so tight, and like I don't I don't get any negativity here. So I don't know about well, it's just because I'm small or I really attract. It's possible that you actually attract people. Well, um, yeah, like, and maybe you're, just, you're really relatable. <laughs> so people, you know, people always feel safe when they can relate. And that's and that, that's the mo- like that's the most important thing. Honestly, and for me, in terms of what I share, like I was saying this the other day, you have to have that something that you will keep personal no matter what. Mm-hmm. There, has like, there has to be boundaries. There has to be boundaries. There has to be things that you're like, no. For, for anything, I refuse. Yeah. Do you get what and I, I mean? made that choice. And I made and that decision. Everybody and just goes out to deal with it. Deal with it. Whether you like it or not, deal with it. Because there was some people. That that someone messaged me one time that, like, where's your husband? You say you're married, but you live in your house and you don't see him. I was like, you don't need you to see him. What are you doing with him? You don't need to. Like, people that see him, they see Jasmine, like, I have so many videos yeah. that That's I'm just like, no, this is for me to see. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll post it to my. We're living in a world where instant gratification I want more life. important. It's more important. Than I want life. The lady is juicy. The lady is nice. The lady is nice. I always say to people, when you're watching, when you see my picture. Watch it with the grain. Yeah. Like, like, be a realistic part. person. Like, you understand? Be very realistic. I don't make it look like what I'm misrepresenting. That visa bay thing really upset yeah. me. It really upset me because people are like, oh, but you're still, you're still posting this and you're still posting that. She doesn't, it's not, your, you're not entitled. Yeah. To have pain, yeah. You're not entitled to have say, hey, they kicked me out of this house again. I have to go here. I remember thinking like this, and then all of a sudden getting to the point where I had like an anxiety thing. Mm -hmm. And like one of my friends actually told me that she felt like I was seeking attention because I talked about it on the internet. And I was just thinking to myself, damn, if you do, and damn, if you you don't, don't, yeah. Because if you don't talk about it, she thinks that she's just Mm -hmm. Mm perfect. If you talk about it, why is she talking? She wants attention. Yeah. You really can't the win thing is, and you're spending a lot of your time trying to figure out how you can win. Oh yeah, my god. Guys. Before we leave, I wanted to tell her something. And I oh want my to tell god. her. Guys, what? It's really I'm dramatic. Ready. I'm, I'm, ready. Ready. I'm not 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 ready. Oh, no one that has been calm since. Oh, oh man. Okay, okay, so I'm really bad at like breaking news to people. I think I'm I'm just like I don't know if you notice my voice is like very monotonous and stuff a lot of the time. So even when things are emotional, I'm just like I'm not dying or anything. Okay. <laughs> I mean I wouldn't know I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that on the internet. Don't worry. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, so what is it? So I'm happy, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you being serious? I'm not even joking. I just found out like a month ago because I'm already five months. Like I'm five months as of now. Wait, what? I'm serious. Yeah. I just woke up and my book is already came and I was like Wait, hold on. And I've not done anything since. Wait, like, wait, so wait, I'm wait, just wait, wait, out. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Oh my, oh my god. god. 
Yeah, I'm actually serious. Like, I actually have the, I have like a bit of a tummy. It's just that nobody seems to be able to see it. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a tummy. Yeah, I'm actually serious. Like, I actually have the, I have like a bit of a tummy. It's just that nobody seems to be able to see it. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a tummy. You're actually like the first person. Oh my god, I haven't seen that. Yeah, there's something that I don't know how this happened. Obviously, I, I know how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I know how this wait, happened. Wait. It's not like that. I don't know how this happened. It's just that she, she thinks I'm drinking. Wait, but I'm I don't hot. know. I'm actually hot. Like, I, I don't know what to do. I actually documented this. Like, I talked about telling you before I got here. Like, my belly button is wow. out and everything. Like, wow. having how a whole ass child. To be completely honest, then, it has been very traumatic. <laughs> it has been a very traumatic month. Okay. Like figuring out that you're having a child and you're already like halfway through the process. Okay. It's just like, oh wow. So, but you didn't have all the like this. Yeah, just so there. I think the closest thing that may have been considered was maybe that period of time I had. Because I was still oh, living yeah. my life and I was still joking. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, I was just flexing. <laughs> I was just flexing. And then I just wake up one day and like I just so, felt like huh? I had gained blue plates. Okay. And my skin was getting clearer. But everything else, like my until the point when I found out my stomach was still flat so flat. Excited. I don't know why this girl is My stomach so, it was it was just a very it has just been a very interesting situation for me. Are you loving all the love? I I am. <laughs> Actually like as I am. It's just that like for somebody that is not that emotional, like, yeah. it comes so, oh my gosh, I can't control tears anymore. Like, if I want to cry, it's coming out now. <laughs> One time I started crying in the bank. I'm not even joking. They probably thought I lost all my money or something. I was crying. <laughs> That's why I declared 2018 no tears. 2018, because 2017, you know, I was crying. Ah, ah. I was just, the tears were just full. They were just, do you understand? And so, like, yeah. I'm just like, well, yeah, yeah. guy, do you understand? Like, this is oh, what you've been cool. built on. So yeah, I'm, I'm really calm about it. I think it definitely helps that like my only real symptoms. I have like a lot of sleep. Like I have a lot of insomnia, so I don't really sleep. And aside from that, maybe I get tired a little more. But I didn't really experience anything else. And I was about to say gender, but I just realized that it's day. It's only one piece. <laughs> They're doing, yeah, very well. they're doing very well. <laughs> Weirdly enough, like when I had my first ultrasound, I'm like, oh my god, they're so healthy. This one's on the heart is beating fast. Yeah. They're moving. I was just like, what do you mean they? As in, as in, I was just like, wait, you need to tell me that casually something's just living inside. No. Like you are minding your business, me so I'm minding my business. I'm <laughs> no, wow. No, it's yeah. it's a beautiful. It is honestly yeah. like it's. I I almost feel bad because because of the situation surrounding it. It's almost like you want to always be excited and you're so excited, but you can't really show people that you're always excited about things. It's almost like you have to be kind of like. Yeah. But don't let anybody take this seriously. Oh my gosh. Don't let anybody take that away. Because the experience of your first child is different. It's, 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 it's the most beautiful thing ever. It has actually, like, this yeah, one so one has been one. so, like, it, it has been, it's, it's almost like a stretched out day. Mm -hmm. Once I found out, I popped. <laughs> and then, yes, and then I started feeling the movements. And, oh my yeah, gosh, you kind of have to do it. People just think I'm fat now. <laughs> people just think I'm fat, guys. No, no, but you don't. And then when I came in, this was like, I think lost it. I was like, girl. <laughs> no, not really. No, no, what you're talking. I said, okay, no problem. When I tell you, you change your mind. Right, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching like she said and do not forget that you are sugar you are spice and you are bomb as jello rice yes oh, super.